Uh, hey, what's up, guys? I'm here today with a uh, Ezreal Shirima deck guide. Um, this deck is actually made by a Japanese uh, Rinterra player called Teal Red. Teal Red, you probably heard of him. Um, yeah, uh, super interesting concept. Um, it's been done before, but um, you know, this is his version is probably the best version that I, I could find, and um, yeah. Um, I think he made to masters with this deck, which is pretty cool. So this is um, very uh, heavy on Ezreal, um, and uh, for those who don't know what Ezreal does, essentially um, you level him up by targeting enemies six times, and after you level him up, he becomes like a great finisher. That every time he casts a spell, you either deal one or deal two if you target um, target enemy as well, which um, yeah, it's a uh, pretty much a burn finisher, and sometimes you can finish your enemy at burst speed, which is an extremely powerful tool in Runeterra. And he usually has at least like one deck that's like um, viable for the highest level to play. Um, so yeah, let's get into the deck. Uh, firstly, we have Triple Right. Um, this is just used to draw Ezreal and make make the deck more consistent. Uh, triple Thermo. Gives Ezreal target, pretty much used in most Ezreal decks, at least as a 2 of. Um, can be used to like kill, uh, like, let's get against aggro at turn 1. You can just kill one of the 1 drops. Um, it's good into like mid range, or not really mid range, but uh, high health units, because you could like just do the 5 mana thermo, kill 5 health unit. Um, overall, really versatile, great card, just gotta know when to use it. Doomkeeper, um, best one of the best stream one drops. Use on offense, defense. Could even use the Sand Soldier as a rate of calling target. It is pretty nice. Scrying Sands is it's been pretty amazing in this deck. I think this is the best deck that uses Scrying Sands because, firstly, if you don't have Ezreal, it gives Ezreal a target to level him up, and it predicts to either get right or Ezreal or anything you need out of the situation. Um, secondly, it helps against aggro, which is one of our Worst matchups to be honest, like you kind of get smashed by most aggro decks. So if you're seeing a lot of aggro decks, you probably shouldn't play this deck on ladder. But it is fun, um, fun to learn, and I think it it'll get better, um, for sure by next uh expansion when all the streamer cards are out. Uh, I hope it'll get better at least because this is a super fun deck. Um, yeah, and uh, it, it's if Ezreal is leveled on board, it's two burst speed, two damage. Because the minus two is like not really meaningful late game, but it turns into a one mana two damage spell, right? Which is really really nice. Ancient Hourglass. This this card came in clutch um, for me. Uh, one of the games which you'll see, I think it's like it's deep. Uh, add double Hourglass and save. It's used to save Ezreal. Um, there are some like other Hourglass targets um, that we'll get to later, like alternatives in case like it's. You don't have a zero on four, it's not useful at the time, etc. Uh, we have the Sump Worker, uh, alternative finisher. Um, use, it's like a lot of damage. Um, and we run iterative in this deck to copy it. Uh, so, yeah, it's a good burn damage. Uh, works really well in the deck. Just, just solid book damage for, for a zero to finish them. As we, as I've said, iterative mains copy the sump worker, but you could copy like anything you need. Uh, this is this is also really good and versatile because, again, if you have level Ezreal, you can like copy the um, enemy units and it turns into two damage burst speed spell, right? So yeah, good early game, good late game. Um, good with sump worker, good with Ezreal, which yeah, great, great. Um, basic shot, uh, two damage. Gives a real target, uh, removes one, moves a unit from the enemy board most of the time. I mean, uh, late game it can be three damage. You target the nexus. Um, yeah, big card, big card. Preservarium used to get Ezreal more consistently. Rate of calling. Uh, you really want draw in this deck because it is like a combo deck late game. So um, yeah, uh, just good. Good draw. Ezreal, um, I talked about him at the start. Um, great finisher. 
Uh, you can even use him early game if you have like multiple Ezreal's and you don't care about one dying or if they have like little to no interaction in their deck. Uh, then yeah, you can just throw it on Ezreal, keep generating free Mystic shots and uh, yeah, free value. Whereas this Hunter is great in this deck because it gives Ezreal a target and it pretty much removes the unit for Ezreal. Uh, yeah, uh, amazing. Neotype, um, alternative target for Ancient Hourglass, along with Sumper Girl as well. Because uh, when she summons, she buffs up units in your deck and Hourglass, um, you can use it to block Hourglass and then um, Researcher will buff more targets after Hourglass procs, which is very, very nice. Uh, Static Shock, uh, deal 1 to 2 units. Uh, if you have this with Ezreal leveled, you can target one unit and the nexus and you don't have to target two units right so it will do three damage plus the static shock which is four so yeah uh progress day um it makes your combos cheaper which is nice and you can really get some surprise like finishers off of this card um used to refill your hand because sometimes like you have a lot of mana not a lot to do with it kind of awkward sometimes so progress day is uh, just a nice way to refill that. And um, yeah, that's the deck. To Mulligan, it's really based on matchups. Like uh, Thermo is a great keep most of the time. Dune Keeper is great. Uh, Skying Sands, I usually don't keep it, but you could in some matchups, I guess. Um, if you're up against Aggro, I don't know about keeping Subbreaker. It's great if you can get two of them on board like really fast. And then like start deleting the one one health units, but otherwise, if you have one, it's kind of a brick. Um, yeah, iterative. I usually never keep it unless I have um some worker with it. Um, yeah, Ezreal. If you're up against Aggro, do not keep Ezreal. If you're against a late game deck, you can. You can usually like reliably draw Ezreal in this deck later in the game because of predicts and because of rate of calling. So yeah, that's nice. And um, yeah, Zion type merciless. Useful against fearsomes because they're free health. Uh, Sag's good. Um, yeah. Uh, main thing, honestly, is to play the deck a lot because it is a hard deck to pilot. I've been, I'm still making mistakes. Um, super fun deck though. So, um, yeah. Good luck. Let's get into the game. Mm, okay. Um, do we keep right? I don't think we need her as we already game. Um, this is just fearsome stream, alright. We might need to keep merciless on here. Also, I need to wear my glasses. Bad drop. Um, yeah, he's just gonna attack it to us. Um, we could have mystic shot at it, but I think it's fine tanking the three and um, just getting this since we drew uh, double sunburn here. Getting this in early is pretty nice. Uh, the posse. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so he just lowers their attack. If we drop Static Shock, that's gonna be sweet. Static Shock to the gods, and okay, no, no Static, it's fine. Uh, there's a Callista. We can set this up kind of with the Mystic on this, but we're just gonna give Vulnerable to this actually. We love it when they run! I'm just gonna tank everything. It should be okay.
I don't mind playing the Ezreal out here. Don't blink, or you miss me. Could have also played a Merciless, but. Yeah, it makes it very hard for him to develop. Ah, uh, okay, well, he can develop that because my Ezreal doesn't really get a good swing. Or any swing. Could have sung with it. I'm just gonna go ahead and press the okay. uh, With double mystic and a merciless. Ooh, that might be tough. Oh, we have double mystic. Uh, go ahead and. This. Probably should. It doesn't matter where I give it to you, I think. Fuck here. And I don't think it matters. I don't want to be in Doom Beast range, so we're gonna go ahead and block with our, uh, a posse here. And we can block this because it's not fearsome. And it kind of just gives us a good range. Side of uh, I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? And we have another posse too, so that's nice. I was like debating, like, what if I just go greedy and then kill him next turn? Pass. I'm just gonna um, develop. Possibly. Well, we'll develop this first. See what we see. We, we shall pierce their treasonous hearts. Watch and learn. Always forward. We're gonna full swing. Should be fine. I think we just win. We get the mistake. And that should kill him. We also had another mistake because of him, um, right? Which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't think he can play anything. Uh, I mean, he could like bow piece and live. All right. Yeah, this next looks pretty solid. Like my name. Oh, yeah, sorry, I started recording really. Late. Um, we don't need this. This is good. Um, we keep right because uh, I'm actually gonna probably sacrifice the emerald. Maybe not the turn one of her realm since we have two Doom Keepers. The Emperor commands the land obeyed. Actually. Wait, what happened? Did I miss C or something? Oh my god. If we just use all the raids, do we go like negative or Sand and blood! Oh no, I thought we had two Doom Keepers. I miss Saw completely. Okay, so what are Deep Decks running now? They're running the other greedy version. <laughs> I'm just gonna thermal this. I'm not, I don't wanna deal with this. I was gonna thermal Maokai, but this is annoying. Uh, they have that new bone skewer card. Hmm. 
Yep, later. Annoying. Always forward. Fuck. Alright, I'm fine, I suppose. Okay. So, Maokai, yeah. He's like, does he have second thermal? He doesn't have second thermal. Uh, pop that buddy. I'm gonna go ahead and Ezreal next turn. Don't blink or you miss me. Since we'll have no shortage of it, of Ezreals, might as well. Um, we can do like Dead Bloom into Bone Skewer, which loses to Mystic. Do Is there any? Units that you can use it with Bone Skewer that would at least Mystic. I don't think there's any three attack units with more than two health in his deck that you can play with Bone Skewer. So three mana. Of course, he might have fish. There are four more mana, but. Okay, yeah. Huh. Did not take into consideration that it's all he has the elusive fish. The desert by my side. command. All right, we can go ahead and full swing. Not full swing. We're <laughs> swinging as zero. They didn't draw like dredgers or like the big toss cards. So he hasn't really tossed a lot, which is kind of nice. Oh, take your time, pal. It's not like I've got better things to do. Like the fact that he played I here, I think he's just on a fish hand, just fish heavy hand maybe. Why are they called sea monsters? Sure. Okay, so he doesn't want that to die to a static or a mystic. Eh, not bad. Oh, our hand's not really doing much. Well, two of our cards are dead. Dead ish. If he Malkai's, I will happily double Mystic that. I could double mystic this. Uh, what could you have? Triple jettison? Firing. Yeah, that's right. Progress to your next turn. Uh, we are. That's annoying. I mean, might as well. Nautilus. Okay. Will be cleansed. Always forward. Interesting. Danger pays. Look, I don't mind cheating this. 
Ah, uh, but well, let's just develop a uh, Xenotype. Yeah, I don't think he wants to deep go Nautilus without deep, maybe. Our hand's so clunky. Oh my god. What <laughs> was our hand? Oh my god. I feel like iterative something. Stop playing drags this or draw hunters. Uh, he wants to go deep. He, he suicides two of these. And then the fearsome kills. But if we shoot our own unit, he doesn't go deep in time. But or or shoot this. But I think this is what he's gonna use. Unless he has jettison. Uh, if he has jettison, do I just lose? Like, I just lose. Oh my god, I just lose the game. Oh, I need to like iterative my. I should have like iterative my Doom Keeper. Ugh. Wait. Okay, this is going deep after. Uh, do I save Ezreal? Oh my god. Okay, I guess I will. Sure. I'm guessing he doesn't have Jettison because he didn't like buff swing with this. Okay, we should be like ready to kill him, so. Or like, soon. Dep depending on if we draw useful cards. Okay, okay. I think we take the zero mana thermal here. Uh, that's a target. And just level up our Ezreal. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so this will be 246. I mean, that's kind of funny. That you think I don't have more Ezreals, but <laughs> we have big Ezreals. Alright, so we have to kill him next turn, or um, at least like lower him enough where he just dies, right? Don't How much damage is this? Six. Eight. And then if I just use this to destroy a mana gem. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> so this is gonna do three more. Is that six? We got this, we got this, baby. Oh. 
<laughs> He's dead. Do you have a second hourglass? Second riptide, second hourglass. I hope we have the mana to kill him. He is dead. So we predicted this. Ah, uh, we do have the mana. It's like turn ten, and we only destroy one, like one or two mana chips. So yeah, uh, we're good. It's gonna like might as well predict into the, the scrying sands. Wait. Oh my god, I forgot my Ezreal was in Hourglass. So I almost like legit threw the game there. He's dead though. Oh, this deck's so fun. Oh, I love it. Good deck, good deck. Did we really get a mirror? Huh? Uh, probably someone else also copying T on red. So what do we need in this deck? Or like in this hand? Merciless is good. I don't think we need the right. Strength sense. Uh. I am not sure how to play this mirror. Kyrene is good, but I don't want him to kill it before I can duplicate it. Is the thing. I might just raw play this, cause. Arda's gonna make a meal of him. Interesting reaction. I'll make a note. I mean, I just didn't want to play as real into him. It's kind of bad because we like missed the target. That might have been a misplay. It might have just been Ezreal or even burn Mana. To be honest. The desert by my side. Okay, so we're just gonna hope he doesn't mistake this. He got lucky. But yeah, he could mistake this right right now. We're gonna get the two targets. Okay, I already like made a lot of misplays, so. Sand and blood. He is ahead. Okay, we're gonna preserve you. Wow, he burns the mana. Do I have to play a blocker? I want to burn his mana. Um, five damage is a lot, but there's no way he develops. I wonder if he has an answer to my answer, yo. Oh. I like to see that, actually. So now he can't shoot my, um, my subworker. I can play subworker and improvements, and then we're chilling. 1 out of 6, 3 out of 6. 
I think he just did that for the level, but... I don't know. It seemed weird. So, yeah, we're just gonna open and play this. Open with this. I think we could still win this. I think I think so. Okay. So an Ezreal. He he used that thermo. He might have oh he had ten cards in hand, let's see. I might have a really awkward hand here. I don't really want Ezreal to mine stuff up, but. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Mm. That's right. Run! I'm kind of down. Like if he has thermo, he has it. Like second thermo, but we have second zero anyway. And like, oh wow! Interesting. I mean, he probably has like second nurses or something. But I have like, I can like, deal with that, you know? Gonna find a gift for an action, right, Arda? Like so. And I leveled Ezreal first. First, he's gonna level Ezreal. Very soon as well. Oh, this is two damage. We'll use the non Ezreal version first. Actually, I'll do this first because I don't want him to play into posse. I mean, he might have thermo, like third thermo, possible. That's right. So we can just grind here, funny enough. But well, we can kill it. Uh, I don't mind just killing the unit. Hey, good looking. Back at ya. Ends up playing his own Ezreal. Go ahead and do keep it. See what we see. Sorry. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. Uh I can progress stay here, I think. Trying a monogram is okay with me. Azir's command. So I could just sing at everything. Back it up. Obstacle, me gauntlet. I'm just gonna scrying sounds. 
he's gonna scream sound as well. Our glass is interesting. I think I want the mystic. One mana thermo this, kill it, do two damage. <sighs> yeah. I can't tell if he's on an awkward hand or not. I don't know why he would pass there. Maybe he just has nothing. Um I really don't mind burying the mana gem here or an extra mystic. Okay. So we wanna draw before it shuffles, right? It shuffles my predict. Should be enough. We can kill him. Can he kill me? Maybe. Nice, you have a bit of speed one. way if he chains like a stupid thing. Like that's in lethal. Oh I see. I think I win. That was fun. I mean, I misplayed a little bit, but yeah, managed to bring it out in the end. Oh, that was nice. Ugh, fun, fun games. Alright guys, uh, that's all. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, cred credits, all credits to Teal Red for this deck. If you want the deck code, will be down below. Um, yeah, see you guys next time. See ya.